the movie was made by all Ghostbusters fans, like the whole cast, mm-hmm. the whole crew. Everyone was sneaking in Easter eggs. I'm still finding Easter eggs in the movie that I didn't know about. There are so, so, so many Easter eggs in this movie, and I think everyone will have their favorites, whether it's like uh, little statues or notes or whatever. Right. Um, what is one of your sort of like deep favorites, Jason? Like one that you're like, you might not even see it in the movie, but it was on a shelf and you wanted it there. Oh, uh, okay. I, I know exactly what to point to. Uh, there's a great line in the original where uh, Egon says, I once had half a slinky, I straightened it. And we had a straightened slinky on Phoebe's night table in Chicago at the beginning of the movie. I didn't know that. Yeah. I never saw that. I'm sorry. I mean, no, but here's the thing. Uh, the movie was made by all Ghostbusters fans, like the whole cast, the whole crew. Everyone was sneaking in Easter eggs. I'm still finding Easter eggs in the movie that I didn't know about. <laughs> uh, Ivan, did you have one? Like, I know you were on set. Were you, did any sort of like, hey, I remember that sort of <laughs> thing? Well, it's, it's, it's a larger, more profound one, which was just to see um uh the actors the stars from the original film show up and start to act in the form in the in the tone of what they did you know back in 84 that sort of continued that legacy when bill murray started from his very first scene i said oh my god i haven't seen that in such a long time and mm-hmm. i'm so happy to uh, to experience it again yeah, when Dan Aykroyd like picks up that phone in that magic shop, I was like, oh my God, there it is. Like there's that guy, <laughs> there's yeah, this character no. all over again. We recreated Ray's Occult down to every detail, down to the red phone that we, you know, associate with uh, Janine's desk back at the fire station. Still struggling though. Still still needing a little help. Yeah, you know, um, crystals I will say aren't, aren't selling as much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, crystals are really popular now. So <laughs> maybe he just needs some new, some new marketing. He just, his web presence is bad. His TikTok <laughs> doesn't have a lot of followers. <laughs> there is one thing that is missing from this movie, as far as I know, which is there is no Slimer. Did you think about putting Slimer in the movie? You know, the movie takes place in Oklahoma. And mm-hmm. so we wanted to work with... Uh, uh, ghosts that were going to be native to the actual area. Big uh, really for us is always, you know, every culture has their own ghost stories and we want to see all of them. And this is a story that takes place in Somerville, Oklahoma. Uh, last question, Jason. Um, there's a sick Beethoven ref in this movie. So shout out to your dad there. Um, <laughs> if you were going to remake another of your dad's movies or franchises, what would it be? By the way, there is a Beethoven reference, but there's also a Cannibal Girls reference, my father's first film. Uh, so people can go look for that. I don't know. I mean, I'm more curious. What movie would you want to remake of mine? Good question. I, I would love to do I probably Juno or Young Adult. <laughs> I, I want to see my dad's Young Adult. That would make me happy. <laughs> it has a gunner seat? 